Putin's landmines, according to Zelensky, are hampering the counteroffensive. Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, has admitted that the country's counteroffensive against Russia's forces is slower than desired, blaming the deadly minefields laid by Vladimir Putin's troops. Meanwhile, the Russian president claimed that Moscow had seen a lull in Kyiv's assault after the country took eight towns in the past two weeks, because Kyiv knows it has no chance against Russia's military. Britain's Ministry of Defense said that despite Mr. Putin's comments, his generals appear to be worried about Kyiv's ability to strike directly in Crimea, as they have built elaborate defenses near the occupied peninsula. Two Russian fighter jets were spotted flying close to Estonian NATO airspace, prompting the Royal Air Force to dispatch interceptors. The jets failed to comply with international norms by not liaising with regional airspace control, according to officials. While EU chief Ursula von der Leyen said she had no doubt Kyiv would join the bloc, Rishi Sunak argued that Moscow's war has only proved how much Ukraine has to offer as an investment opportunity at a London conference aimed at raising funds to rebuild Ukraine. Britain, according to Foreign Secretary James Cleverly, would be very supportive if Ukraine were exempt from completing the membership action plan phase of the alliance's membership process. We have seen Ukraine evolve, and evolve incredibly quickly, he said at a press conference at the Ukraine Recovery Conference in London. At the NATO Informal Foreign Ministers Summit, Jens Stoltenberg stated that many of the membership action plan requirements are being met. Even as they are at war, they are working to modernize their military. Since the offer to Sweden and Finland didn't necessitate a membership action plan and the Ukrainians have shown their commitment to reforming the military for requirement of NATO membership through their actions on the battlefield, I believe the UK's position would be very, very supportive if we moved on from the membership action plan. I believe all NATO members would agree with that statement. Putin says Russia has seen a lull in Ukraine's counteroffensive since it began earlier this month. The Russian president made the claim in televised remarks, claiming that Ukraine has no chance despite its offensive potential. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has stated that while the country's counteroffensive against Russian forces is progressing slower than desired, Kyiv will not be pressured into speeding it up as its troops advance through dangerous minefields. There are those who think this is a movie and demand instant gratification. He later told the BBC that it wasn't the case after giving a remote presentation at a London event. The lives of real people are on the line here. Mr. Zelensky was quoted by the BBC as saying that the military push was difficult because Russian forces had mined 77,220 square miles of Ukrainian territory. Whatever some might want, including attempts to pressure us, with all due respect, we will advance on the battlefield the way we deem best, he continued. In his speech to graduating cadets at Russia's military academies today, Defense Minister Sergei Shaigu claimed that the collective West is waging a real war against Russia. Mr. Shaigu added that the Russian military would do whatever it took to protect the country as he appeared alongside Vladimir Putin at a Kremlin event. Russian President Vladimir Putin has stated that the latest generation of Russia's Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missiles, which can carry 10 or more nuclear warheads, will soon be put into active service.